Hi, it's me again. Um, I'm just kind of playing with some new stuff today. Um, I got the I got the Child and the Mandalorian palettes from ColourPop. Uh, so I just wanted to play with these today. So we'll see what happens. I am just priming with the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. The silver one, I know they just changed like all of their primers. Um, but this is just the regular original guy. For foundation, I have the new Makeup Forever HD Skin, so they just reformulated this, so I have the new version. Um, I was given this um, in gratis. I work at Sephora, if you're new here, hi. Um, so I picked my color based off of the old color that you wear. Um, and then, oh, it's a little yellow. But I'm used to that. Um, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Um, there are new N shades, which are neutral, and I wish I knew that before, because they it was like a secret <laughs> that this was coming. So when we picked our shades, it was based off of the old shades that they had, but now they have, I'm gonna do two pumps, I think, but now they have new shades, and some of those new shades include neutrals. So if this goes well, maybe I'll get a neutral shade. Oh yeah, that's pretty yellow. Okay, I think it looks good. Um, the original HD foundation I didn't wear <laughs> because it was designed for photographs and not for like normal life. Um, so I don't know if they changed that for this to also be for normal life, um, but either way it looks good. Definitely medium coverage with those like two pumps that I put on. You can see it's very yellow compared to my neck, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Uh, eh, not mad at it. Um, this shade that I had is 1Y18. So I feel like the depth is correct, but it's way too yellow. Figured I would just pair it with uh, Makeup Forever Concealer. So this is the Matte Velvet Skin. All right, for powder, I'm just sticking with Makeup Forever here. No particular reason. Uh, <laughs> um, this is the Ultra HD Setting Powder. I have this in 2 Banana. Um, I'm pretty sure I used, oh, I have used this before, and I liked it, um, but I used it with a brush, I think. I don't know, oh, no, I did use my little puff. I have so much stuff. Um, but it comes with this little puff, and I like the shape of it because it has like the corner, because you can get like right up in there, and like right around the nose, it's got the little finger strap. I don't like these fucking, these stupid caps. I don't like these. Oh, see, now there's stuff all over me. I have powder everywhere. It's everywhere. It's just everywhere. I like that powder because it's really nice and matte, but it's not like dry looking or like cakey. So this is probably going to be really good powder for summertime when your girl is extra oily. Um, but right now I am just doing my eyebrows with the... Um, benefit precisely. I use the shade three. Okay, so uh, I primed my eyes. I think I'm going to kind of dip back and forth between the two palettes because from the child, I really like this color, which is called Sipping Soup. And then from Mando's palette, I really like this color, which is called Clan of Two. So I'm going to use both. Do whatever I want. <laughs> So I'm gonna start with Bantha Tracks from The Mandalorian. And then from um, The Child, I'm going to take Droid Protocol. I have like a speck of glitter that like fell in there, but it's matte, so I'm just gonna go around the speck of glitter. And just put that in the outer, outer like third-ish, outer V kind of area, a teeny bit through the crease. Okay, so we have that nice and smoky. It's kind of like sticking a little bit, like in my crease, but like when, when I'm like this, you can't tell. I just thought that was a little weird. Only that one shade did that. Okay, next I'm gonna take the Clan of Two and put that all over my lid. Yeah, that looks cool, I like that. 
I'm just gonna take Bantha Tracks again, that first shade I used from the Mando palette. Mandalorian, I'm gonna keep calling it Mando, and just run this down here. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna take Sipping Soup from The Child. Mm, that's so fun. See, it just brightens up the whole look. So there's the eyeshadow done. Nice and smoky. I like the like shift of green in this Clan of Two shade. And then I think the green of Sipping Soup um, really brings the green out more here. So I'm gonna put on some eyeliner and some mascara and then I'll be right back. Okay, here it is with the finishing touches. I put um, this liner from Sephora Collection on the inside. It is one of the newer um, Ultimate Gel Eyeliners. This one is Sea Green Matte. It came out more blue than green, but it's okay, I still like it. Um, and then the mascara is the new Big By Definition from Sephora Collection also. Mmm, not sure how I'm feeling about that. My lashes fell down immediately. I'm gonna contour with my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. Um, bronzing with my Becca Bronzer. This one is Capri Coast. Not that you can buy these anymore. Rest in peace, Becca, but because I have two shades of these, but I'm gonna use this one. Bring it down my neck. So I don't look so mismatched. For blush, this is the Too Faced, um, like the holiday palette, the blush palette, uh, Christmas in Rome. So I'm gonna use this Jingle Bellini shade because I want the rest of the skin to be like or the rest of the look to be like peachy rather than like neutral. Just so the face doesn't look really dull since the eyes are so smoky. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette and I'm gonna go in with this peach shade which is called Be Sweet. So top of the cheekbone, I like to do up and around my brow down the nose, and my favorite place, the Cupid's bow. And then for lip, this is one of the Makeup by Mario lipsticks. This is in Cam, so like a darker peach nude. And finally, a little setting spray. I'm just using the Sephora Collection one. So here is the final look. I really like how this look turned out, actually. This, yeah, this looks good. Ooh, and my hair's blown out. Mm, mm hmm mm, I'm hot. Mm, look at, mm, look at me go. So I really like how this look turned out. It's really like nice and smoky, but with the blue green on the inside and the green out here, keeps the eyes kind of open and bright. And then with this like peachy lip and cheek combo. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I'll put an update in the description about how the foundation wore. I do have to go to work, so I will be wearing a mask. Um, I don't care about mask transfer. That does not bother me, so it's gonna be more so like an update about how well it held up once I started to get oily under the mask, because that's, that's a fine issue with me and makeup right now oils under the mask. Um, but yeah, so I'll put an update in the description box, like how it held up, but I'm really liking how I, I'm looking right now. Like my skin looks really nice and smooth. Oh, mm, I just want to keep looking at myself. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.